Switch gear is often used as a general term for lots of different low voltage electrical equipment. Just because it is a large gray metal enclosure does not mean that it is classified as switch gear. Let's look at a few different types of power distribution equipment that are not switch gear. Switch gear is not a panel board. Switch gear is not a switch board. And switch gear is not a motor control center or MCC. Yes, all of these have a similar appearance and layout to switch gear, primarily switch boards, but they do not have the same UL standards, design, structure construction, types of circuit breakers and breaker mounting, application, or power capacity. What is the difference between switch gear and switch boards? Low voltage metal enclosed switch gear and low voltage switch boards are products used to safely distribute power throughout a facility. Both assemblies utilize freestanding enclosures that house circuit breakers, bus bar, and power cables. Both products may contain meters, relays, potential transducers, current transducers, and transfer schemes for redundant power. However, that is where the similarities end. Switchboards are typically constructed with a dead front, open chassis design with few or no internal barriers between the cables, circuit breakers, and bus bar. When the switchboard dead front is removed, all bus bar, cables, and terminations are exposed. Switchboards are tested per UL891 standard and are normally composed of fixed mounted molded case circuit breakers which comply with the UL489 MCCB standard. Switch gear is tested per UL1558 standard and is normally composed of draw out power circuit breakers which comply with UL1066 PCB standard. Switchboards tend to be less expensive than switch gear since fixed mounted MCCBs are less expensive than draw out power circuit breakers. However, MCCBs are not designed to be serviced, and if the breakers are fixed mounted, the switchboard must be de-energized in order to replace them. Switch gear, on the other hand, contains draw-out power circuit breakers, which can be removed from the equipment while it is energized and are designed to be fully serviceable. Switchboards only have a three cycle short time current withstand rating versus a 30 cycle rating for switch gear. This means that achieving selective coordination is more difficult since short time delays cannot be programmed to provide time for circuit breakers farther downstream to clear faults. Note that UL1558 switch gear can be classified UL1558 or UL891, which is the standard for switchboards, but switchboards cannot be classified as UL1558. So, where is low voltage switch gear installed and who uses it? In facilities that consume large amounts of power and facilities that require reliable power, switchgear plays an important role. The switchgear may provide primary low voltage power distribution and protection, often residing at the service entrance or on the secondary of the transformer. This transformer and switchgear combination is known as a unit substation. Low voltage switchgear is typically used to feed low voltage motor control centers, low voltage switchboards, and other branch and feeder circuits such as lighting, HVAC, and process specific loads. It is used to supply electricity for critical power and critical process applications such as those found in large commercial and industrial applications. What exactly is low voltage switch gear and what does it consist of? Electrical switch gear refers to a centralized collection of circuit protection devices such as circuit breakers, fuses, and switches that function to protect, control, and isolate electrical equipment. The circuit protection devices are mounted in metal structures. A collection of one or more of these structures is called a switchgear lineup or assembly. Low voltage metal enclosed switchgear is a three phase power distribution product designed to safely, efficiently and reliably supply electric power at voltages up to 1000 volts and current up to 6000 amps. Typical ANSI NEMA switchgear is rated for up to 635 volts with a continuous current main bus rating of up to 10,000 amps for supplying power from parallel sources. What are the main features of low voltage switchgear UL1558? The key features include removable draw out type switching and interrupting devices capable of moving between a connect and disconnect position with self alignment and self coupling. Major parts of the switchgear are completely enclosed by grounded metal barriers for compartmentalization, rear access or front access power terminations, 
indoor NEMA 1 or optional outdoor NEMA 3R. And some key optional features include automatic shutters that cover primary stabs when the removable element is in the disconnected, test, or removed position, all primary bus conductors and connections covered with insulation material throughout, front accessible switch gear where the cable terminations are brought to the front of the gear resulting in a wider design but much shallower layout with a standard 40 inch depth and requires no rear access. This allows the switch gear to be placed up against a wall, into a corner, back to back, or in other tight locations where a standard rear accessible switch gear lineup would not normally fit. Arc resistant switch gear, which is designed to safely contain and redirect arc flash energy away from the operator by exhausting it through a plenum. Arc quenching switch gear, which reduces incident energy to a level where the switch gear will survive an electrical arc flash event while providing enhanced safety and minimal equipment downtime. Arc quenching switch gear meets and exceeds the arc resistant testing requirements even when the breakers are removed, doors are open, covers are removed, and without the need for ducts, plenums, or special enclosure construction. Main time main and other special configurations and interlocks designed specifically for an application. This may include automatic transfer switches, high resistance grounding, and other special designs. Now let's discuss the main parts of low voltage switch gear. Breaker compartment or cell, bus compartment, cable compartment, metering control or instrumentation compartment, power circuit breakers, and secondary or control power wiring compartment. Each breaker section can normally hold up to four power circuit breakers arranged in a vertical fashion. UL1558 requires individually compartmentalized mounting. Group mounting is not allowed. The advantage of internal barriers and compartmentalized breaker mounting is isolation of a fault within the gear. For example, should a catastrophic fault occur on a circuit breaker, the internal barriers within the switch gear will reduce the likelihood of damage to adjacent breakers, internal bus, and the structure. Each compartment or cell generally consists of primary line and load stabs, shutters, secondary control wiring, breaker rails, breaker position indicator, draw breaker interlock, which prevents the insertion of circuit breakers with incorrect frame size and interrupting ratings. Behind the circuit breaker compartment is the bus compartment, which is also compartmentalized by solid barriers from the breaker compartment. Adjacent bus compartments are segregated from each other by an insulated barrier between compartments. The main components of the bus compartment include main bus that extends horizontally across the switch gear, vertical bus that is sized for the breakers in one section, insulating barriers between vertical structures in the bus compartment and barriers between the breakers and bus. The cable compartment is at the rear of the switchgear section and it is optionally compartmentalized with vented or unvented barriers from the bus compartment. The cable compartment has hinged doors or removable covers that enable access to landing lugs for terminating line and load cables or bus duct. This compartment arrangement is the most typical and is called rear accessible switchgear since access to the back of the switchgear enclosure is required. A variation of this arrangement of compartments is front accessible switchgear where the cable compartment is adjacent to the breaker compartment with the cable compartment doors located on the front of the equipment. Other optional equipment that may be mounted in low voltage switchgear may include door mounted and compartmentalized panel mounted devices behind the doors. Low voltage switchgear provides short circuit and overload protection via low voltage power circuit breakers with integral trip units. These low voltage circuit breakers are typically through the door draw out devices. Through the door means that the faceplate of the circuit breaker along with the breaker mounted controls are accessible without opening the switch gear. Draw out means that the circuit breaker can be easily moved into test and disconnect positions without opening the switch gear and can be fully withdrawn from the switch gear for service. The connect position is when the primary power is connected through the breaker's finger clusters to the bus stabs and the secondary control power is also connected through secondary disconnects. The test position is when the primary finger clusters are not connected to the bus stabs, but the secondary power is engaged to allow for testing and circuit breaker electrical operation. Finally, the disconnect position is when the circuit breaker is disengaged from all power sources and ready to be removed from its compartment. Low voltage circuit breakers interrupt short circuit and overload faults via main contacts that part in open air. 
Consequently, such circuit breakers are also known as air circuit breakers. The secondary or control power wiring compartment contains the circuits used to provide power to control and monitoring equipment for electrically operated devices such as solid state trip units, circuit breaker accessories, pilot lights, meters, and control switches. Power circuit breakers have many electrical components within them that need to be connected to external power sources or to monitoring, metering, or controlling equipment. Power flows through the low voltage switchgear enclosure via silver or tin plated copper bus. Vertical sections or risers of copper bus connect the breaker stabs which runs horizontally into the breaker cells in a switchgear section and connects to the line sides of the feeder breakers via finger clusters. Horizontal or main bus electrically connects adjacent switchgear sections to one another. Runbacks run horizontally back from the load side of each feeder breaker through the bus compartment without connecting to the vertical or main bus and into the cable compartment to provide lug landings for terminating load cables. In most cases, insulation or dielectric strength between the three bus phases is provided via an adequate air gap. In locations where bus clearances are not sufficient to provide the necessary dielectric strength, insulation is applied to the bus. There are several important standards and ratings that apply to low voltage switchgear. Specifically, UL 1558 is the main reference used for low voltage switchgear and is intended to supplement and be used in conjunction with the standard ANSI C37.20.1. ANSI IEEE C37.20.1 is the standard for metal enclosed low voltage power circuit breaker switchgear, rated for 1000 volts AC and below or 3200 volts DC and below. A couple other standards and guides related to low voltage switchgear include ANSI IEEE C37.20.7, which is the guide for testing metal enclosed switchgear rated up to 38 kV for internal arcing faults, and UL 1066, the standard for low voltage AC and DC power circuit breakers used in enclosures. Low voltage switchgear has many specific ratings for electrical parameters, including voltage, frequency, continuous current, interrupting current, and insulation levels, depending on the application. For example, most 480 volt switchgear has an insulation level of 2.2 kV. This means that any current carrying part of the switchgear will be able to withstand that rated voltage level without flashing over between phases or phase to ground. Another important rating for low voltage switchgear is short circuit withstand current rating. So what is short circuit withstand current rating? The short circuit withstand current rating is also known as the short circuit current rating or SCCR of the switchgear. This is the definition for SCCR per the ANSI IEEE C37.20.1 standard. In other words, the short circuit withstand current rating is the maximum short circuit current that the switchgear assembly can safely withstand for at least four cycles when protected by an overcurrent protective device. This rating will affect how the bus bar is mechanically braced to prevent bending and damage during a short circuit event. The purpose of this rating is to coordinate with the short circuit withstand current rating of the circuit breakers used in the switchgear. The short circuit withstand current rating of the switchgear must equal the rating of the lowest rated breaker used in the switchgear assembly. For example, if the main circuit breaker has a 100 kA rating, but a feeder breaker has a 65 kA rating, the switchgear will carry a 65 kA short circuit current rating. What is interrupt rating? Interrupt rating is a rating that applies to overcurrent protective devices such as low voltage power circuit breakers. It is defined as the maximum current the overcurrent protective device is rated to safely interrupt at a specific voltage. The interrupt rating of the circuit breaker must meet or exceed the short circuit withstand current rating of the circuit breaker. In some cases, the interrupt rating will exceed the short time current of the circuit breaker and the switchgear, resulting in a circuit breaker that will trip instantaneously within three to four cycles instead of with a short time delay in the presence of a particularly high fault current. Finally, the interrupt rating of the circuit breaker must meet or exceed the maximum available fault current that the upstream power source could supply in the event of a short circuit fault. What is short time withstand current rating? This is the definition for short time rating of a low voltage switchgear per the ANSI IEEE C37.20.1 standard.
In other words, this rating consists of two quantities, time that is typically measured in cycles and current that is typically measured in kiloamps or Ka. For low voltage switchgear, the time rating is 30 cycles or 0.5 seconds, and the current rating is the amount of short circuit fault current that the mechanical assembly, electrical bus bar and bracing can endure for 30 cycles without sustaining damage at the tested voltage. Low voltage power circuit breakers also have a short time withstand current rating and the switchgear must equal the short time withstand current rating of the lowest rated breaker used in the switchgear assembly. For example, if the main breaker has a 100 kA 30 cycle rating, but a feeder breaker has a 65 kA 30 cycle rating, the switchgear will carry a 65 kA 30 cycle short time withstand current rating. Low voltage power circuit breakers are specifically designed to be able to withstand a fault of a given magnitude without tripping for up to 30 cycles. Compare this to the molded case circuit breakers or MCCBs, which are designed to trip instantaneously within three to four cycles when subjected to the fault current above the instantaneous setting. As a result, MCCBs are tested to withstand a short circuit fault for only three cycles before tripping. The purpose of selective coordination is to increase the reliability and uptime of a power distribution system. Theoretically, a relatively minor downstream fault in a system that is not selectively coordinated could result in multiple breakers tripping on overcurrent and causing a widespread outage in the facility. Selective coordination is achieved by setting the overcurrent devices in a system such that the device closest to the fault opens first, as opposed to all devices that see the fault current opening. Selective coordination applies for the full range of overcurrents on a system and the full range of interrupting durations associated with those overcurrents. In other words, a short circuit fault can occur downstream in a power distribution system with upstream circuit breakers experiencing but not withstanding the fault current and remaining closed while only the circuit breaker closest to the fault opens. This is an advantage of low voltage switchgear and why designers make such a big deal about the three cycle versus 30 cycle ratings. Low voltage switchgear is also available with a wide array of advanced arc flash safety technologies which can reduce incident energy, limit arc flash damage, increase uptime, and improve safety. Such as arc quenching switchgear, arc resistant switchgear, zone selective interlocking or ZSI, arc flash reduction maintenance system or ARMS, arc flash detection relay, bus differential protection, remote racking such as the MRR1000, and Power Expert Dashboard. Incorporating intelligent electronic devices such as smart circuit breakers, sensors, and microprocessor-based relays and meters can make switchgear intelligent. This can be accomplished in new switchgear designs as well as by strategically upgrading certain components in existing switchgear systems. Networked switchgear enables the facility operator to take advantage of advanced cloud computing solutions that can analyze massive amounts of data and provide actionable insights about the power distribution system to improve productivity, safety, and operational performance. It is important to remember that switchgear is designed with serviceability and maintainability in mind and is designed to last for several decades if the equipment is maintained per the manufacturer's specifications. It is equipped with fully serviceable draw-out UL1066 circuit breakers that are meant to be removed from the gear for service and testing. Eaton's engineering services team has a variety of solutions to service and upgrade your switchgear and circuit breakers. These upgrades are available for Eaton and other manufacturers' equipment to include the most recent safety and technology advancements in your breakers and switchgear. This includes complete disassembly and reconditioning of breakers through major switchgear upgrades. To learn more about low voltage switchgear and the many options available today, contact us or your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of Eaton's Power Systems Experience Centers today.